channel. Today I've made myself some uh, Tim Hortons tea. Didn't mean for it to be so Canadian. To sit down with you guys to talk about some of the essentials you'll need when moving into a new apartment. So I'm gonna go over six things that I think are so important. I'm kind of basing this off of when you maybe are first moving out of your parents' house or moving out from a shared apartment. So just like when you really don't have many things to bring with you. And I also wanted to focus on this being a budget friendly list. So I'm kind of doing like things that might cost you money, but you really should pay for because you really will be thankful that you bought it. <laughs> so number one is a vacuum. Might seem kind of obvious, but a lot of people don't buy vacuums when they move into an apartment because they'll buy a broom and think that's good enough. Like in my home, I only have hardwood floors, so I thought I'm okay with just getting a broom. Surprisingly, it's really annoying. Like, you can sweep up everything, obviously, with a broom, but getting dust is impossible, and it's just more time consuming. So I ended up getting a secondhand vacuum, and it makes my life so much easier. All the dust is gone, it takes me less time. A fun little life hack is, if you put essential oils in the filter of your vacu vacuum, vacuum, while you're vacuuming, the house will start to smell like those oils and it is just so beautiful. <laughs> I should also mention, if you can tell, uh, these are things, these are mistakes that I have made that I have learned there is a better way to do them. So I'm just sharing all of my knowledge with you guys and I hope that you appreciate it because now you don't have to go through the trials and tribulations that I went through. <laughs> so the second item is good bed sheets. When I first moved into this place, I went straight to Ikea and got the cheapest sheets that they had and it literally felt like I was sleeping on burlap. It was so uncomfortable, so itchy. It was also like see-through, so you could like see the stains on your pillow. So cute, right? Anyways, <laughs> uh, so I quickly got rid of those and I like I still was able to save money because I got sheets from uh, HomeSense, so they're at a discounted price, but I got the like, like 6,000 thread count or whatever, I don't know. Just invest in some nice sheets because you're sleeping on them every day, maybe not, but essentially every day and it makes such a big difference. And number three is plants. Uh, I know this is a really popular thing for people to buy now, but I really think it makes such a big difference in a home because a lot of plants are really cheap and it just brings so much life into your house and they like detox the air and they're just beautiful and jungle inside your house. Like I'm all about that. So I did not hesitate to buy so many plants when I first moved into this place. The next one, the next item up for bid is number four, uh, candles. This might seem obvious, but let me specify. Candles, not a diffuser. I know essential oils are like crazy popular right now and I get why, I love essential oils, but they are so expensive. Especially the ones that you like the most are the ones that are most expensive. So I would just suggest if you're really on a budget, buy candles, buy them from the like discounted stores. You'll get them way cheaper. They last so long. And those little bottles of essential oils and diffusers like do not last you long enough. Especially like, I like to put more drops in than you're supposed to because I secretly think I don't have a sense of smell. Anyways, <laughs> so I like just like loading it up with essential oils, but then it's costing me like 50 bucks for another little like bottle of it. So save yourself some money. You'll get the same effect of scent and just get some candles. As a side note though, like you still can get essential oils for all the other properties that they offer besides just smell. But if you're only getting them for making your house smell nice, I would opt out. Number five, this one made me so happy when I had a friend tell me about it. So when I first moved in, I couldn't figure, or I couldn't find a, a fabric shower curtain that I really loved. So I just had the liner for the longest time. 
and I kind of liked it because it allowed like light into the bathtub but those liners get so grimy so quick especially my husband's a mechanic so just like grease everywhere <laughs> and then you have to like keep buying them and switching them out and my friends told me that you can buy washable shower curtains that are like water resistant so you don't use a liner you don't have a like a normal fabric shower curtain on the outside you just use this washable one and when water just is hitting it it won't absorb it so it'll like drizzle off but you can take it off and throw it in the washing machine and it'll be good to go so you're like I don't know saving the planet because you're not like buying all these plastic shower curtains it should but like last you a lifetime and it's nice and simple like I love just having like a white shower curtain I don't need anything special or like crazy designs of like palm leaves in my bathroom on the curtain um, so yeah that like really felt life-changing my ankles feel like they're about to fall off this is not a comfortable position but I'm doing this for you I hope you know okay the last one number six I'm going through this way too quick okay this one is for literally anyone with long hair I know I have short hair, but it's long enough. A drain catcher for your uh, bathtub. I promise you, I have put my time in with a like coat hanger, trying to like scoop and fish out the hair and the soap scum out of the drain. And it's so nasty. And it's just like my least favorite thing to do ever. <laughs> uh, but some of the drain catchers are just like ugly and like they sit on top and all the, hair and the soap scum like sits on top on in your tub uh, but you've probably heard of these before but I'm just saying they're so like they're so good you should buy one it's those drain catchers that sit inside of the drain I guess uh, so all the hair still goes down the drain but gets caught in it so that it's hidden while you're showering but you can pull it out and still remove it all it just makes your life so much easier because like I hate pulling hair out of the drain it's such a hassle so yeah get one but again it's like a good investment long-term investment you know oh my gosh my ankles oh. <sighs> that's what hurts right there okay we're not doing that anymore this is fine this is fine so i guess that's all uh i know it's just a short list and it's a few like I don't know random things but these are just the things that I found over my time have been like amazing switches or just buys that have come across just to make your life easier uh, but still like on a budget right because you you could go out and buy a Dyson vacuum cleaner but like I'm not doing that that's for sure <laughs> so yeah thanks for coming along maybe next time I should have offered you guys some tea or offered you guys to drink tea with me while we have a little sit down chat about life and the important stuff. Maybe I'll start doing that, <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I might do a things that you shouldn't buy for your first apartment video. Uh, I'll see if I can think of enough like useful things. Yeah, let me know if you wanna see that. If you don't, I probably will do it anyways because it's stuff that I like to talk about. <laughs> but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.